In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on October 18, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. Or thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Carolina Hurricanes vs. Pittsburgh Penguins The Carolina Hurricanes have experienced an uneven start to the 2024-2025 season due to a few postponed games. Despite the limited action, the team has performed at a high level in the two games they've managed to play. The Hurricanes are determined to address the flaws that have plagued them in recent seasons and hope to finally make a deep playoff run, with the ultimate goal of competing for the Stanley Cup. On Friday, they'll face off against a familiar opponent from the Metropolitan Division, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Although Pittsburgh's early season play has been inconsistent, their veteran stars have found their rhythm, making them a dangerous team to contend with in the early stages of the season. Carolina heads into Friday's game well-rested, having played just two games so far. This light workload may give them an edge in terms of energy and preparation. On the other hand, Pittsburgh enters the contest having played five games already, posting a 3-2-0 record. When the Penguins have won, they've done so decisively, scoring six goals in each of their three victories. Their offensive performance has exceeded expectations, showcasing more firepower than many anticipated coming into the season. However, Carolina boasts a formidable defensive unit, which should provide a challenging test for the Penguins' attack. Nevertheless, Pittsburgh might have a slight edge in this matchup simply because they've had more ice time to build chemistry and shake off any early season rust. Despite the Hurricanes being widely regarded as one of the stronger teams in the league this season, the history between these two squads suggests a competitive matchup. Last season, the two clubs split their four-game series, with Pittsburgh securing both wins at home while outscoring Carolina 6-2 across those victories. The Penguins' ability to thrive on home ice will be something to watch closely in this game. So far this season, Pittsburgh has leaned heavily on the production of their core veterans. Evgeny Malkin, Sidney Crosby, and Eric Carlson have combined for 21 points through just five games, keeping the Penguins competitive. Meanwhile, Carolina's limited game experience could prove to be a disadvantage. With Golden Joel Blomp is likely starting for Pittsburgh, there's potential for an upset victory on home ice. Therefore, the Pittsburgh Penguins' money line is our full game side pick. Historically, matchups between the Hurricanes and Penguins have tended to be low-scoring affairs, but early season performances suggest this game could be different. Both teams have shown vulnerabilities on defense, which may open the door for an offensive showdown. Carolina's goaltenders enter the game with a three goals against average, while Pittsburgh's have struggled even more, posting a 4.2 goals against average. This suggests that scoring opportunities will be plentiful on both sides. For the Hurricanes, the over has hit in five of their last ten games, and through their first two contests this season, they've both scored and allowed an average of over five goals. Meanwhile, the Penguins have also leaned toward high-scoring results with the over hitting in six of their last ten games. Pittsburgh's defensive struggles are evident, as they've allowed more than four goals per game so far this season, including 11 goals conceded across their two home games. The Penguins' offense has been particularly impressive in recent outings, scoring six goals in three of their last four games. However, goaltending remains a concern for Pittsburgh, and Carolina has plenty of offensive weapons of its own to exploit any defensive lapses. While past meetings between these two teams have been tight and low-scoring, the current form of both offenses suggests this matchup will buck that trend. Given the vulnerabilities in both teams' defenses and the firepower on display, we expect the game to surpass the projected goal total. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. San Jose Sharks vs. Winnipeg Jets The San Jose Sharks are set to travel and face the Winnipeg Jets at Canada Life Center in what promises to be an intriguing matchup. 
So far this season, the Sharks have started slowly, holding a 0-1-2 record through their first three games. In contrast, the Jets are off to a perfect start, sitting at 3-0-0. Last season, these two teams squared off three times, with Winnipeg coming out on top in two of those meetings. The Sharks will aim to turn the tide, but the Jets look primed to continue their strong early season form. Winnipeg comes into this game riding a wave of momentum, boasting a flawless 3-0-0 start to their season. Through those games, their defense has been been airtight, allowing only two goals in total, a remarkable feat. Their solid defensive play will likely carry over into this matchup, especially given that the Sharks are playing on back-to-back -back nights, which could leave them fatigued. Although San Jose has shown some resilience to open the season, competing well in their first few contests, this game presents a difficult challenge. With the Jets firing on all cylinders defensively and the Sharks' limited offense, San Jose might struggle to keep pace. Offensively, the Sharks have been underwhelming through the early part of the season, struggling to generate goals. They currently rank 31st in the league in goals per game, highlighting their inability to convert scoring opportunities, despite ranking 19th in shots per game. Their offensive woes have have been compounded by injuries, most notably to Macklin Celebrini, who has been placed on injured reserve with a lower body injury. On the defensive side, things have not been much better for San Jose. They rank last in the NHL in shots allowed per game, which puts added pressure on their goaltenders and exposes defensive weaknesses. In stark contrast, Winnipeg's defense and goaltending have been outstanding. The Jets rank first in the league in goals allowed per game and sit 10th in shots against per game demonstrating their commitment to limiting scoring opportunities. Connor Hellebuyck, the Jets' starting goaltender, has been sensational, boasting a perfect 3-0-0 record to start the season. His 0.66 goals against average and stellar .975 save percentage make him one of the league's top performing netminders so far. San Jose has managed to stay competitive over their first few games, picking up some positive results, but their inability to score remains a glaring issue, particularly on the road. Scoring droughts like theirs tend to become even more problematic when playing against a strong defensive team like Winnipeg. The Jets have been almost impenetrable defensively, allowing fewer than one goal per game on average and only 27.7 shots per game through their first three contests. Although it's still early in the season and three games is a relatively small sample size, the Jets' defensive numbers indicate that they are currently among the best in the NHL. Given San Jose's offensive struggles dating back to last year, it's hard to envision them breaking through against the stout Winnipeg defense. With both the recent form and matchup advantages on their side, the Winnipeg Jets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Jets' defensive dominance has been consistent, with their goaltending and defensive structure among the league's best. As mentioned, they currently lead the NHL in goals allowed per game and rank 10th in shots against, making it difficult for opponents to generate quality scoring chances. Connor Hellebike has anchored this defensive effort with elite goaltending, highlighted by his 3-0-0 record, 0.66 goals against average, and .975 save percentage. On the other hand, the Sharks' offensive struggles continue to plague them. They sit near the bottom of the league in goals per game, ranking 31st, and haven't been able to produce much offensive pressure despite a moderate ranking of 19th in shots per game. Additionally, the absence of Macklin Celebrini due to a lower body injury further diminishes San Jose's already limited offensive potential. History also favors a low-scoring game, as the under has hit in eight of the last ten meetings between these two teams. Given the Sharks' scoring difficulties and the Jets' defensive prowess, it's reasonable to expect that San Jose they will have trouble finding the back of the net. With both the recent trends and current form pointing toward a defensive battle, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Anaheim Ducks vs. Colorado Avalanche. It's a showdown between two Western Conference teams as they battle it out on the ice, each hoping to secure a crucial two points in the Mile High City. The Anaheim Ducks are hitting the road to face off against the Colorado Avalanche on Friday night. Anaheim enters this matchup riding the momentum of a 5-4 overtime victory against the Utah Grizzlies on Wednesday night. Meanwhile, Colorado continues to struggle early in the season, suffering a 5-3 home loss to the Boston Bruins on Wednesday in their latest contest. Historically, the Avalanche have dominated this matchup, boasting an 8-1-1 record over the last 10 meetings, including a narrow 3-2 home win in their most recent clash on December 5, 2023. Few would have predicted Colorado's disastrous 0-4-0 start, let alone the fact that the Avalanche have already allowed 25 goals through just four games. While it's unlikely that they will continue to give up six or more goals every night, they need to regroup quickly if they hope to salvage their season. On the other hand, Anaheim has exceeded expectations 
season so far, winning two of their first three games. They shut out San Jose in their opener, but stumbled against the Vegas Golden Knights during their two-game road stretch. Despite Colorado's early struggles, they still have a more talented and experienced roster on paper, which should, in theory, give them an edge. Though it's only the fifth game of the season, this matchup already feels like a must-win for the Avalanche. Their goaltending woes have been a glaring issue, with both Alexander Georgiev and Justice Anunnan struggling to make critical saves. No matter which goalie gets the start, neither has been able to provide stability between the pipes. Meanwhile, Anaheim has been playing with surprising poise, with several young players showing clear signs of development and taking the next step in their growth. This creates a potentially dangerous scenario for Colorado, especially since their defensive lapses have been so persistent. The Avalanche remain the superior team on paper and will benefit from playing on home ice, which makes it reasonable to believe they will find their rhythm sooner rather than later. However, it's difficult to justify backing Colorado with confidence, given how poorly they've performed through their first four games. Their defensive struggles are alarming, having allowed five or more goals in every game so far. Additionally, their penalty-killing unit ranks last in the league, making it even harder to trust them as heavy favorites. Meanwhile, the Ducks have been unexpectedly profitable, covering the spread in eight of their last ten outings. Until Colorado can prove they can tighten things up defensively and get reliable goaltending, it's hard to bet on them with confidence. Anaheim's offense should be able to keep this game competitive, at the very least, if not pull off an outright win. Given the circumstances, this contest should remain a close one-goal affair, making the Anaheim Ducks to cover the spread as underdogs are full games side pick. The Avalanche are currently allowing over six goals per game, a concerning trend that makes it difficult to imagine them keeping Anaheim's offense in check. Early in the season, the Ducks have shown they can score, and it wouldn't be surprising to see them put up three or four goals in this matchup. Despite Colorado's poor start, their offense remains among the most potent in the NHL, which should allow them to contribute to a high-scoring game. With both teams possessing enough firepower to push the total over, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.